Crepe Paper Whisper today. I'll be teaching you a cool model. So, the, th the good news is, I remember how to make it. But the bad news is, I don't remember where my, where my, my latest one is. I might have thrown out might not have, so I'll be showing, so I guess I'll be surprised at the end, or you can look at the thumbnail, assuming I do it. So, today I'll be teaching an Origami Mysterio from Spider and Far From Home. I think you really like this model. This is, oh, for this model, I'll be using my brand new latest type of paper, Origami paper. If you want to buy some of this stuff, check it out. I'll be putting more paper once I run out at, um, at, at se.com, get slash, that's the com. Search the paper whisperer of crafts to get this paper. Anyways, so let's do this. Or you can search more origami on that. See M O R I G A M I. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by making the 32 by 32 grid. Just you know, this paper's very thin. The Morigami paper. It's, 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 I like, it's my method of making out Luigi, but here's Flourish. So hopefully you like it, if you buy it, that is. So, fold. You got your 2 by 32 grid. By the way, once I sell 100 sheets of this paper, I will be making a tutorial on how to make it. You know? I mean, it's... A, oh, I can't say anything right now because I haven't sold 100 sheets of it, but... I mean, that includes my 9-pack of smaller sheets, but yeah. I'll be waiting. We got this, guys. I think Morigami is a cool paper with that like button. What you think of this paper. Whether it's critical or you like it or not, just tell me what you think. It's, this one is named, is after LVT Violent Acid by Fierce Forge. As you can see, it has the same colors. Let me just show, show it the best I can. It's a bit more blah in the camera, but if I turn this off, let me figure out how to turn this and zoom it in. It's kind of hard to see still, but it's pretty pretty it's gonna look pretty similar. It's about, it has a weird lighting right over here in my on my desk. Okay, so let's keep going. Either way, it's gonna look exactly the same. I won't be selling any of this stuff in any of the thinner stuff yet. Right now, I'm still selling the extra. Uh, I mean, extra thin stuff. Right now, I'm still selling the fit and normal thin stuff. And I'm waiting to see what people think. If they like it or not. Hopefully, if they like it. Anyways. simple, my not that simple. It's an intermediate model, but not that intermediate. It's actually the simple model, but if you don't have a lot of experience learning on it, I would highly not recommend this. Even if you have only two years of experience, I'd highly unre I would highly not recommend this. I recommend this model for anyone who has experience shaping, with an insert shape and grids and box plating for at least a year. Like me. Okay, so now, finish this off with this grid. And, um, is going to start with the pre-creasing, which is pretty simple actually. So what we're going to do is, it's not that much pre-creasing actually, all you have to do is pre-crease so that you take, you take the edge and count eight and make that right angle diagonal fold, bring this edge to this edge. Okay, the 
on the other side. start collapsing. I know it's pretty early, but it's there's not a lot of free reason to this. But it's just normal collapsing, honestly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold in half to find the middle. Okay, unfold and remember this body. If you want mark with pencil to remember. So now what you're gonna do is at that middle line, you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grid squares down. I'd actually highly recommend doing the, um, I'd highly recommend actually doing this part, the, the um, collapsing of the diagonals first, and that's what we're gonna do actually first. Well, another thing I'd recommend having experience in is my dragon skills, because it's very similar to it, similar to collapsing at least. More similar to version 2.5 skills, but still pretty similar for this part of the suit. Oh, by the way, if you don't want, if you, I promise I won't give any spoilers for Iron Far From Home in the video, I promise. As long as, as long as you folding with me. I think it's fair. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start working on the scales. 
So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna count one, two, three, and go along with that. We're basically gonna fit, we're basically gonna do that every half grid square. Like that. Now we're gonna repeat over here. So one, two, three. two grids growth apart from each other, we're going to do that same thing. I'll show you what I mean. So what we're going to do, we're going to do count one, two, three, half grid squares. And then what we're going to do is one, is we're actually, this term we're going to do something a little bit different. So what we're going to do, start making a whole new section of creases that go the opposite direction. So you guys, this one's going here, we're going to make one going like that. Hopefully I'm showing it well. I'm not, you can always tell me, I'm happy to rename the tutorials, as long as it's for a, reason, a reasonable reason. <laughs> Ugh, that was a tongue twister. Oh, 
from that crease where this one one sec when this one hits around here it's your choice how long you want the scales to be i prefer making it around there and then i'm gonna make a weird lease not for leasing all flat and then i'll show you again Oh guys, happy new year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your new year. Rosh Hashanah. And hopefully you have another year of life. You is. So. What I did is I basically made a pinch. So if we see how this makes here. And then do this. I'll show you again. So it's, I have the weird piece of the one stay. I go here and I pinch. Simple enough. back to it eventually you'll get this if you have a calm and eat it calm mind if you're thinking positively works every time for me as long as you have enough skill of course that's the most important part being able to do it physically very very important so now we're gonna make a box plate a half plate sink whatever you want to call it i'll show what i mean in a sec We're going to fold each part in half, each half in half, I mean, okay. and then, so we make quarters, and then we just kind of squash it all together. Now what we're going to do, is we're going to fold everything, and I mean everything, into an accordion. Not everything, but everything that we can. So everything at the bottom, I'm saying. Everything. everything, everything, everything. One sec. I'm going to show the best I can. Right now, I'll show you what I can, you know? I'm trying. It's not my fault if I if I can't do it's not my fault if if um I can't do if I'm doing my best I can and you can't understand it. If you if um, if, if you know someone who does understand it, please remake the tutorial. The person who doesn't understand it. And please credit me, you know. Hopefully you guys like it. But yeah. Just simply do another box plate. It'll look like this. two parts up, these two flaps, which I'll show you how to use these in a sec. But more important is making sure this looks good. The way it is, before, I mean before we flatten it, which is going to be very crucial to how the model looks in the end.
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and grab a clip. I wish I had clips, but I don't, apparently. So they're all downstairs, I guess. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep on going. All you have to do is to make some is to make a pretty simple box blade. Not that hard. Trust me. Tell you that. 
one to look at title again. Astronaut kind of, I guess. LOL. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um so we're gonna start shaping the arms, of course. Now what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna make one of his like ball thingies that he uses in the movie to fight. This is the cape which he wears. Why well, I prefer to make muscular legs, muscular thinner, thicker leg onion, just to open some flaps up. tell you if you do this right similar to my Oregon Loki that I teach soon from also from Marvel. I, the thing is I might teach it might not. Could be the model I was working on in the beginning, it could not be who nobody knows. Could be the stars for the driver special and no one knows. I guess you'll have to find out. and they get reverse fold with a crimp on it like that. Now all I have to do is finish shaping the legs. And make sure the neck stays in shape. LOL, the neck does not want to stay in shape. All I do is extend the cape and make sure it stays together. Okay, Mysterio? <laughs> LOL. He is pretty mysterious. That's why his name is Mysterio. Oops. Yes, we need thicker paper to help it stay up, am I right? Yeah, never mind. I actually might be able to make it stay up one sec, guys. Anyways, so this is the Oregon Mysterio. Well, almost. If he's six fat, would stay together. I think he's getting a bit fat. <laughs> okay, so now, Oregon Mysterio is done. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and have a great day. See you next time. Bye.